How's it going guys? We're going to go ahead and take a look at Avira Free Security. Now, if you guys want to download it, I will post the link on the description of the video that will take you here. You just click on download for free and you can download it. Now on their webpage, it says it's the top antivirus, block spyware, adware, ransomware, real-time protection, light and fast. So we're going to take a look at that as well. We're going to take a look at it. We're also going to take a look at PC Magazine's uh, review of it. And we're going to look at the pros, the cons, the specs, and the tests that it did um, on it to see if it worked really well. Now, this is what it looks like here. Really easy to use. It's, it is user-friendly. That's one of the things we look at. And uh, right off the bat, the it's got a smart scan here. Now, I don't recommend doing a smart scan. I always recommend doing a full scan. So if you go to security, virus scans, um, go ahead and do this one, the full scan. That's what I recommend you guys do. I'll go ahead and get it started. Now, there are some antiviruses out there that when you start a scan, oh, look, it's really fast. Wow. Um, it doesn't let you go back, but thankfully this one we can. Look, we can still come and take a look at stuff. Now, if we look at protection options here, if you want to use web or ransomware protection, you are going to have to pay for the for the uh, upgraded version. If you try to use them, it'll go to Avira Prime, and it costs sixty dollars for the first year. Then it's ninety nine dollars per year. <laughs> that's expensive. I'm sorry, but damn. And that's per year. The antivirus used to be where you only buy it once, but now you got to buy it per year. It's ridiculous. Dang. But yeah, same thing with ransomware protection. If you click on that. It will also uh, take you to buy a Vera Prime, whatever that is. Okay, let's go ahead and move on. Um, it's got a software updater. It's got a firewall. Now, if you want to turn on the firewall, same thing. You got to buy the Prime version. Um, so we won't be able to test that out. I might get a free trial on the Prime version. Okay, guys, I might be able to do that. Now, if we go to more settings here, we have uh, privacy. We got browser safety. That's an extension. Let's go ahead and add it to Chrome so we could try it out. Has been added. And I don't know what it really does. Oh, so it's going to tell you if it's a safe. Let's check it out right here. Safe website. Uh, trackers blocked. Ads blocked. Oh, look, oh, you can block on this. one. So it, it'll give you a little pop up here that you could use. That's pretty cool. All right. That's the browser safety. Now the VPN, which is cool. What's cool about the VPN is that it, uh, you don't have to get the pro version or the prime version to use it. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Mm -hmm -hmm. There it goes. All right. Let's go ahead and take a look to make sure that it's working. So the VPN is on. We're going to go to, um, man, I forgot. What is my IP address? I think that's what it was. Okay. So it's going to, so it's telling me that we are in Phoenix, Arizona United States which I am not there so that tells me the VPN is working guys it moved my location over to Phoenix Arizona so it looks like the VPN is working which is good all right now it does have a password manager now to use that you got to make an account with Avira I don't have an account but when you click on open password manager it'll take you to the uh, website where you can um, make a account and you can use that which is pretty cool it's got a password manager it's got a file shredder as well we click next we could just add files click add and then you can go ahead and take a look um, and then also we could take a look at settings here you could go ahead and hit recommend it or make your own custom if I hit custom then I could do this watch I can share data with Microsoft use interaction security I mean, if you really want to get into nitty gritty, you can really come in here and do that. We could look at what's recommended. All right. So cool. So it also has that. Now, another cool feature, it's got the performance optimizer as well. If you got a laptop, it's got a battery saver as well. I could hear my computer really working right now. It looks like that scan is still going. Let's take a look at it. See how it's doing. 
It's going to take a while. It's only 28% so far. In the meantime, let's look at the optimizer here. Let's go ahead and scan and see what it finds. It might go slow because I'm doing a virus scan right now anyway. Mm, this might take a while. So in the meantime, let's take a look at everything else. It's still doing it, so that's good. All right. Battery saver, I really don't even, I don't have a laptop. I'm using a desktop right now, but it looks like you can, you could swap back and forth between pro, uh, energy saver. Oh no, to get that, you need to get pro. Check it out. I bet you if I click on it, it's going to tell me, yep, I got to buy it. <laughs> so we can't even use this if we wanted to guys. All right. Uh, quick optimizer, power cleaner. So we could free up more space. Oh, you got to get pro for that. Check it out, guys. You need pro. Make your device faster. So a lot of these th extra features, you got to get the pro version or the, uh, what was the other version? I forgot what it was called. But check it out. Yeah, we got to get the pro version. Let's see. How do we go back? There we are. Okay. All right. Where were we? Uh, driver updater. Looks like that comes with free with the program. I hope. Let's check it. Let's take a look. And once we're finished looking through all these features, we will look at the pros and cons and all that good stuff. I just wanted to show you guys everything that it has. So far, so good. I kind of like it. It has a lot of good features for being a free software. And... It also has a duplicate finder. It's got more advanced tools. And then if you if you like to play video games on your PC, it's got the game booster as well. But to get that you need the prime. <laughs> Alright, so with the free with the free version, you basically just get um, just the basics, guys. But you know, if you're looking for an antivirus program, just the basics is good enough. But let's go ahead and take a look at um the pros and cons but first let's take a look here so we could free up up to 3.8 gigs that's good if we hit optimize it'll start to do it here's what we optimize we i thought it was going to do like three gigs and 199 megabytes you can still fix a watch it's going to make me buy it optimize the rest yep Go ahead and buy it. All right. So the optimizer is not free. <laughs> It'll do a little bit, but not all of it. <laughs> all right. But as, as far as being a basic antivirus, it looks like it does well. Well, let's take a look at what PC Magazine had to say about it. So the pros, mostly excellent lab test result, root scores, which we're going to take a look at. It. Features go well beyond basic antivirus. Includes VPN and password manager. It is free. The cons is many features require payment, which we, we took a look at that. Serious bandwidth limitation for VPN. Okay, we didn't check the bandwidth, but apparently it's very low. Four scores and some hands-on tests. All right. So the specs is it's got on-demand malware scan, on-access malware scan, website rating, malicious URL blocking, phishing protection. Phishing is when they tell you it's Facebook, but it's not, and they take your password. Uh, Behavior-based detection, vulnerability scan. It does not have a firewall. I thought I saw a firewall on there. Hmm. I think you got to buy the full version for that. Let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, lab results. So here we are. So for the lab results, um, hold on. Uh, it earns a standard certification. Those that go beyond basics. Uh, it basically tells you here. So Avira earned Advanced Plus in the two tests involving actual malware detection and Advanced in the performance test and fine showing. Uh, Avira earned a top certification level of triple A. That's the top one. It's triple A, double A, one A, B, and C. But it got triple A. Not bad, not bad. Uh, so if we compare it with the other ones, Avira got a, uh, it did four testing and it got 9.5 out of 10. That's really good. The only one that beat it was AVG, right? As we can see here. But it did pretty good compared to all the other ones. Kaspersky got 9.8. Wow. Wow. Norton got 9.7. And Viper got 9.5. So it's up there. 9.5 is up there. 
Um, it looks like other ones did better, like Bit Defender and AVG, which we're going to take a look at those as well. But it looks like that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. It's still scanning. This might take a while. I know I don't have a virus. I think I don't. <laughs> I shouldn't. But thanks for watching, guys. Um, the test results here is what really matters. PC Mag has been really well known to do really good tests. So 9.5 out of 10, that's not bad. I'm going to go ahead and get a Vera. Uh, four out of five stars because being a free software it actually has quite a bit the VPN impressed me It might not be the fastest, but if you need VPN real quick, it has it. It's got antivirus VPN, it's got file shredder. It's got browser safety password um, Manager so and it's got performance optimizer as well, which is good so For being a free antivirus. It has a lot of good stuff Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you soon in the next videos, because we're going to go ahead and test all these guys that are in the 10s. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching guys.